Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge A level Information Technology Paper 4 for February March 2020. I am going to solve the web programming task. The other task will be uploaded in another video. You can find the link in the description once the videos are uploaded. So we'll be doing task 4 which is web programming. Open JS task.html in both a browser and in a text editor. So the text editor which I'm going to use is Dreamweaver. I have opened the file here JS task. Also the file is open on the browser. I'm in the click to total the sales button code and add JavaScript so that when the button is clicked the total sales recorded for each time period are displayed in the cells as shown. So you can see here morning sales are shown here and afternoon sales are shown here and the numbers in the each time period is shown here the sales here at 8 am it's 2 at 9 am it's 5. So we need to add all these values and show the total in the morning sale figures for this table and for the afternoon we have to add these values and show in this figure and the total sales the total of these two has to be shown here when you click this button so we need to amend the code in that way now you can see nothing is given in the code now let's change it here in the code so if you check this value this input box is named as am8 here you can see id is am8 so whatever value we enter here will be referred to as am8 dot value and what you enter here is referred to as am9 and it will be referred to as whatever value you enter is am9 dot value so we need to add all these so we can see all these five values are shown here and we need to add these and store in a variable. Same way we have other input boxes for the afternoon sales uh, named as PM1, PM2, PM3 like that and we need to add all these values and then show as the afternoon sales. So this needs to be done when you click this button. So you can see the button is shown here. Now let's go to the code. So this is the button. So we have to add a function to find the total when you click this button. So I will add an on click property here. And let's define a function name called total. So this is the name of the function total. Now we have to write the code for this total. So let's add the script. So I have added the script tag. Now we can write the code inside the script. going to define the function function the name of the function is total so we need two variables uh, the morning sales and the afternoon sales so let's declare two variables variable m total comma this is the morning total then a total and the uh, together so the grand total we give g total so these are the three variables
Now in m total we have to find the value of these the values entered in these input boxes am8 dot value am9 dot value am10 dot value and so on so m total equal to it will be am8 dot value plus m9 dot value plus 10 dot value plus 11 and then pm12 so when you are adding like this if you add like this uh, this plus operator is used for addition as well as concatenation uh, so the numbers entered at, on at this input boxes will be taken as uh, text or string so when you use uh, plus here uh, it will be converted as string and it will concatenate instead of adding so we need to convert these values to a numeric value num numeric data so for that you have to add number of if you give number of am dot value then whatever value we have entered it will be converted to numeric data and so when you use the plus operator addition will be used so now let's copy this and then we can change the variable name so number of am8 dot value number of am9 dot value 10 dot value 11 and the last one is pm12 so pm12 dot value now same way we have to find afternoon total so let's copy this and change the names A total equal to number of it is PM 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So PM 1, PM 2, PM 3, PM 4 and PM 5. So now we got M total and A total which is afternoon total. Now we need to find the grand total. Uh, so that is you can give G total equal to the morning total plus the afternoon total. So we have calculated morning total, afternoon total and the uh, grand total. Now we need to display this at the specified uh, locations. Morning sales must be displayed here and uh, it's uh, the name of that ID is AM total. So we need to show the total there. So AM total and uh, the next one is PM total and total. So let's use the document dot get element by ID property. So document dot get element by ID. The ID is am total dot inner HTML equal to this variable a total. Now let's do the same for the afternoon total and sorry this is the morning total m total. Now let's do the same procedure for afternoon total and the grand total. So I'll copy this code. So 
So afternoon sales is PM total. And the next one is total. So it should be PM total is equal to the afternoon total which we calculated. Now the total, the grand total, it is shown as total here. This is total. So that total equal to the grand total. Now let's check whether it's working. Same and refresh the browser window. Let's try entering the values. So I have entered all the values here. We can click on the button and you can see the total is displayed here. So this is the function which we used. We have declared three variables for morning total, afternoon total and the grand total. And morning total is the sum of all the values and entered at each of these uh, am8 dot value, am9 dot value which are displayed at these input locations. Since uh, we are using the plus symbol which may be used for concatenate, we are converting the value into a number so that addition is done. So that is done. Amend the selection code and add JavaScript so that when a new day is selected, the data in all the cells are cleared. So when you change the day here, we need to make sure all these data which we have entered are cleared. So this is the selection button here or for the drop down list whenever you change any value uh, we have to make sure uh, the data entered are cleared. So let's go to the code. So this is the code for the day. So you can see this is the code select and the ID is given as day. So uh, when we are changing we need to uh, make sure all the data are cleared for that we have to add a function. So I will define the on change property of this. So we have on change equal to let's give a function name called clear. So whenever you change the value uh, this function will be invoked and it should clear all the data. So let's add a function here for clear. So each of these values like am8 dot value all these should be empty once you click on that button. So we can give am8 dot value equal to an empty value you have to give. So I'll write am8 dot value equal to an empty value or just give double inverted comma. So like this we need to give for all the 8 fields here. You can see all the 8 fields sorry all the 10 fields and also these um, figures. So let's copy this. I'll copy this five times. So the second one is AM9, then 10, 11, and this is PM12. Now we need to do for the values in the afternoon section that is PM 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5.
PM1, PM2, So let's check now. I'm entering some random values here. So when you click, you can find the sum. Now when you change, it needs to clear all the data. So you can see these fields are clear. We need to make sure these are also clear. So for that, let's go to the code. These all were input boxes, but this is just a cell in a table. This m total, pm total, and total. So we have already given this statements assigning the total to these locations. So let's copy this and paste it here and instead of this let's give empty value now let's check So here you can see the total is there. Now I'll change the day. So when you are changing the day, you can see all the fields are clear and you can enter other values and check for that day. So this is the clear function. Save the web page as sales form followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's save. Sales form followed by your center number and candidate number. Save. So this is the end of the web page task. All other tasks will be uploaded in other videos and you can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.